WCF, Windows Communication Foundation, is a one of the programming platform. The initial name for WCF was Indigo and it was designed for building service-oriented apps and offers interoperability too. It is a Microsoft framework to design applications or services, distributed framework over the network on a variety of platforms. Microsoft first introduced WCF in Net Framework 3.0, and later used extensively in Frameworks 3.5 and 4.0 respectively. Before the introduction of WCF, developers were already using ASP.NET Web Services to design service-oriented applications, for distributed environment. What is WCF? WCF stand for Windows Communication Foundation. It is a Microsoft framework for building service-oriented applications. It focuses on connecting XML to programs that are built using development languages supported by Microsoft C Sharp and VB.NET. It can be used to create or deploy services that are easily accessible by multiple clients worldwide. What are the main features of WCF? Service orientation applications. Service metadata. Data contracts. Multiple message patterns. Reliable and queued message. Durable messages. Multiple transports and encoding. AJAX RST support. Transactions. Extensibility. Interoperability. Routing. Web HTTP programming model. Security. WCF Discovery What are advantages of WCF? WCF provides better reliability and security compared to ASMX web services. WCF is a best fit for scenarios like message queues, duplex communication, end-to-end -end message security, one-way messaging, distributed transactions, etc. It control concurrency in WCF, there is no need to make much of a change to code to use the security model and alter the binding. Small changes in the configuration file will match your requirements. WCF provides interoperability between services. WCF can maintain transaction like COM plus does it can be hosted on these, was, self-hosting, Windows services. Why WCF? A web service to exchange messages in XML format using HTTP protocol for interoperability A remoting service to exchange messages in binary format using TCP protocol for performance A secure service to process business transactions. A service that supplies current data to others, such as a traffic report or monitoring service A chat service that allows two people to communicate or exchange data in real time A dashboard application that pulls one or more services for data and presents it in a logical presentation. A Silverlight application to pull a service for the latest data feeds. What are the WCF fundamentals and WCF architecture? The WCF fundamentals are as follows, interoperability service orientation unification, COM plus services, web services, .NET remoting, Microsoft message queuing WCF architecture, contract service runtime messaging activation and hosting. Can you explain binding and how many types of bindings are there in WCF? A binding defines how an endpoint communicates to the world. A binding defines the transport, such as HTTP or TCP, and the encoding being used, such as text or binary. A binding can contain binding elements that specify details security mechanisms used to secure messages, or the message pattern used by an endpoint. WCF supports nine types of bindings. Basic binding. It is offered by the basic HTTP binding class, this is designed to expose a WCF service as a legacy ASMX web service, so that old clients can work with new services. When used by the client, this binding enables new WCF clients to work with old ASMX services. TCP binding, it is offered by the net TCP binding class, this uses TCP for cross-machine communication on the internet. It supports a variety of features, including reliability transactions, and security, and is optimized for WCF to WCF communication. As a result, it requires both the client and the service to use WCF. Peer Network Binding It is offered by the NetPeer TCP binding class, this uses peer networking as a transport. The peer network enabled client and services all subscribe to the same grid and broadcast messages to it. IPC Binding it is offered by the net named pipe binding class, this uses named pipes as a transport for same machine communication. 
It is the most secure binding since it cannot accept calls from outside the machine and it supports a variety of features similar to the TCP binding. Web Service WS, Binding It is offered by the WS HTTP binding class, this uses HTTP or HTTPS for transport, and is designed to offer a variety of features such as reliability, transactions, and security over the Internet. Federated WS Binding it is offered by the WS Federation HTTP binding class, this is a specialization of the WS binding, offering support for federated security. Duplex WS binding, it is offered by the WS dual HTTP binding class, this is similar to the WS binding except it also supports bidirectional communication from the service to the client. MSMQ binding, it is offered by the net MSMQ binding class. This uses MSMQ for transport and is designed to offer support for disconnected queued calls. MSMQ Integration Binding It is offered by the MSMQ Integration Binding class, this converts WCF messages to and from MSMQ messages, and is designed to interoperate with legacy MSMQ clients. Can you explain different types of WCF tools? Service Model Metadata Utility Thule, Sfkutl.exe Find Private Key Thule Find private key.txe. Service model registration tool, service model reg.txe. Com plus service model configuration tool, com svc config.txe. Configuration editor tool, svc config editor.txe. Service trace viewer, Thule, svc trace viewer.txe. WS atomic transaction configuration utility, vsat config.txe. WS Atomic Transaction Configuration MMC and Workflow Service Registration Tool, WF Services Reg.txe, WCF Service Host, WCF SVC Host.txe, WCF Test Client, WCF Test Client.txe, Contract First Tool. What is Contract in WCF? Contract is a platform neutral and standard way of describing what the service does. The main objective of defining contracts is to make agree with both client and server for the same operations, structures, data types etc. This is important to establish the secure communication between the two. This is a formal agreement to define the platform neutrality and standards as well as what is done by the services. What are the different types of contracts used in WCF? Here is given most common types of contracts that are frequently used within WCF technology. Service contract. Service contracts describe the operation that service can provide. For egg, a service provide to know the temperature of the city based on the zip code, this service is called as service contract. It will be created using service and operational contract attribute. Operation contract, an operation contract is defined within a service contract. Operation contact defines the parameters and return type of an operation. An operation contract can also defines operation level settings, like as the transaction flow of the operation, the directions of the operation, one way, two way, or both ways, and fault. Contract of the operation. Data, data contract. Data contract describes the custom data type which is exposed to the client. This defines the data types that are passed to and from service. Data types like int. String are identified by the client because it is already mentioned in XML scheme a definition language document, but custom created class or data types cannot be identified by the client for example employee data type. By using data contract we can make client to be aware of employee data type that are returning or passing parameter to the method. Message contract, default SOAP message format is provided by the WCF runtime for communication between client and service. If it is not meeting your requirements then we can create our own message format. This can be achieved by using message contract attribute. Fault contract. Suppose the service I consumed is not working in the client application. I want to know the real cause of the problem. How I can know the error. For this we are having fault contract. Fault contract provides documented view for error occurred in the service to client. This helps us to easy identity, what error has occurred. Can you explain the essential components used in WCF? Service class, the service runtime layer contains the behaviors that occur only during the actual operation of the service, that is, the runtime behaviors of the service. Throttling controls how many messages are processed, which can be varied if the demand for the service grows met. Endpoint, WCF service is a program that exposes a collection of the endpoints. Each endpoint is a portal for communicating with the world. 
All the WCF communications are taken place through the endpoint. An endpoint consists of three components. Hosting environment, a service must be hosted in some process. A host is an application that controls the lifetime of the service. Services can be self-hosted or managed by an existing hosting process. What is the WCF RIA? WCF RIA is the framework for developing the N-tier application for a RIA, Rich Internet App. It is used in Rich Internet apps like Silverlight, Ajax etc. WCF RIA is used to solve the major problems like tight coupling. Can you explain the possible ways of hosting a WCF service? A WCF service can be self-hosting using a console application or Windows Forms applications. Hosting a WCF service in any managed net application is called self-hosting. Now the following is the procedure for creating a WCF service and hosting it in a console application. Hosting Environment Requirements Availability When do you want to be able to reach your service? Reliability What happens when your service somehow breaks? How does this affect other consumers? Manageability do you need easy access to information about what is happening on the host where WCF services live? Versioning Do you need to support older versions of the service? Do you know who is consuming your services? Deployment What is your deployment model? Are you installing through the Microsoft installer process and Visual Studio deployment packages, or is copy sufficient? State Are your services stateless? Do you need sessions? The following are the various options available for hosting a WCF service. Self-hosting Windows Service Internet Information Services, IIS Windows Activation Services, W What is a SOA? SOA stands for Service Oriented Architecture. It helps to organize apps as services. TS is a group of methods that define the business logic and helps to connect with DB and other services quickly. Take an example of the restaurant where you go and order food. Your order will go from counter to the kitchen finally. What is ABC and WCF? ABC, Address Bindings Contracts, is the three building blocks of WCF and they are known as Address, where, address tells us where to find the services, like URL. B Bindings, how, bindings tells us how to find the services or using which protocols finds the services, SOAP, HTTP, TCT etc. C Contacts, what? Contracts are an agreement between the consumer and the service providers that explains what parameters the service expects and what return values it. Can you explain transactions in WCF? A transaction is a logical unit that defines multiple activities in WCF either pass or fails. The two common types of transactions are, atomic and long running. Two phases of transactions are prepare phase and the commit phase. Which are the three types of transactions manager WCF supports? WCF supports following three types of transactions managers. Lightweight All transactions WS Atomic Transactions Can you explain transport in WCF? Transport reliability, such as the one offered by TCP, offers point-to-point -point guaranteed delivery at the network packet level, as well as guarantees the order of the packets. Transport reliability is not resilient to dropping network connections and a variety of other co -munic Can you define address header in WCF? Address header contains the information which is sent with every request. It can be used by either endpoint service or any intermediate device for determining any routing logic or processing logic. Can you explain message reliability in WCF? Message reliability deals with reliability at the message level independent of how many packets are required to deliver the message. Message reliability provides for end to end guaranteed delivery and order of messages, regardless of how many intermediaries are involved, and how many network hops are required to deliver the message from the client to the service. Can you explain XML InfoSet? The XML information set defines a data model for XML. It is an abstract set of concepts such as attributes and entities that can be used to describe a valid XML document. According to the specification, an XML document's information set consists of a number of information items. The information set for any well-formed XML document will contain at least a document information item and several others. Can you explain duplex contracts in WCF? Duplex messaging or callback is used to communicate with the client. Over different transport system duplex messaging in WCF is done like TCP, name pipe and even HTTP. 
Collectively this is known as duplex contracts in WCF. Basically duplex service contract is a message exchange pattern in which both endpoints can send messages to the other independently. A duplex service, therefore, can send messages back to the client endpoint, providing event-like behavior. Duplex communication occurs when a client connects to a service and provides the service with a channel on which the service can send messages back to the client. Note that the event-like behavior of duplex services only works within a session. Like share and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.